TJ Seafood on Oak Lawn, and I'm here with the owner, John Alexis, and we're going to find out what's new for us on your menu today. You guys are known for your seafood. I hear that you are like a seafood expert. I am a literal fishmonger. A monger is anybody who sells something. A cheesemonger sells cheese. I'm a fishmonger. Um, and uh, TJ's been with us for 32 years. Uh, we like to laugh. I'm the third captain of the ship. There was a T and a J who founded it. My parents bought it 10 years later. And uh, I've now owned it for 13 years. You bought it from your parents? I bought it from my parents. If you know my mom and dad, they did not give it to me. Oh. <laughs> yes, and they cashed the check that day, too. Oh, oh and here we have something now. So this is our famous TJ Chef cocktail. Um, we buy the best shrimp money can buy. We put it a little fresh lemon zest over it, and uh, it comes with a little side salad with wasabi vinaigrette. I love the compliment of the horseradish in the cocktail sauce and the wasabi oh, in the other kind of kissing yeah, cousins. Your, nice. your sinuses have never felt better than after TJ's shrimp cocktail. I can't wait to try that. Are you going to share? Oh, yes. Don't put food in the middle if you're not sharing. Okay, good. Well, let's do I'll start. This shrimp is a number one Mexican brown. It comes from off the Yucatan Peninsula. And uh, that water has a little bit more salinity, so you actually get a little brininess to the shrimp. It is considered the best shrimp on earth. When I was in Tokyo, I was so excited to go to the Skiji fish market, like the greatest fish market on earth. And whenever I go somewhere, especially where I don't know what's going on, I look for the long line and I get it. I got in, had to be. Whatever everybody's in line, I want to see what that is. I get to the end of that line. They had a tiny sh uh, shipment of number one Mexican brown shrimp from the Gulf of Mexico, and the greatest chefs in Tokyo were in line to get them. And I said, that's my shrimp, and I knew it was the best shrimp ever. That's Isn't that awesome. cool? That is cool. What is meatless on the menu? So first of all, yeah. um, I know everybody's pet peeve is to say, oh, we have a meatless dish, we have a salad, blah, blah, blah. We take our salads really seriously, and I will say that our garden salad is, um, so I'm diabetic, I eat a lot of vegetable-based meals. I will put our garden salad up with my favorite vegetable-based meals on the salad. Having said that, we run lots of specials, um, we do all kinds of meatless dishes, and we're also the type of restaurant that if somebody said to us, I'm meatless, what can you do? We'd say, I'm a glass chef, give me a few minutes, and we've come up with all kinds of fun dishes right on the fly. I'm doing meatless because it's you know good for the body, good for the health, and also it has the benefits on the environment too. And I love fish, absolutely. But um, I understand that you guys also focus on sustainability. I'm so glad you asked about sustainability. Sustainability is uh, it's not something that we just kind of talk about. I always tell people who stands to lose more from overfishing than me. Right. <laughs> there are two facets to sustainability. Number one is our, you know, when, when you talk about sustainability, it's kind of this big amorphous idea, but actually means something very specific. Can a fish have a baby fish before you take it out of the ocean? It's very simple. If that fish has a baby, then we have a net zero loss in the ocean. That fish has had multiple babies, and you take that one fish out, you have more fish than you started. Mm -hmm. If you take a fish out of the water before it's reached sexual maturity, unless it hasn't spawned yet, that's how you can crash a uh, seafood population. For instance, the Chilean sea bass. It went from the most popular fish to being endangered. Why is that? As it became the world's most popular fish, people started cheating and going farther and farther away, and they crossed into where the baby fish, three, six-year-old fish, who had not had a baby yet, and once they started taking those fish, the entire population crashed. If we follow the rules, we can have a very healthy relationship with wild fish in the ocean. The second facet of it is we also have to be able to have high quality aqua farming to supplement. We have to be comfortable with supporting high quality aqua farms and um, not thinking about farm raised fish as a bad thing, but only supporting the best. So sustainability is not just about our wild fishing practices, it's about the aqua farming that takes the pressure off of that wild fish. That's the, the net net to that conversation. The net. Huh, pun intended. Yeah. John, thank you so much for having us today. I love TJ's. It's a great neighborhood place. Um, if you haven't been, you got to get into TJ's and try this fish. We appreciate it. So it's our pleasure. We are nothing without our customer. It's a small business success story, and I'm only a part of it, and we're really, really proud of it. The neighborhood's proud of you guys, too. Thanks. So, great to be a part of it. Thank you.
guys for watching. We'll see you next week. So this is a follow-up to my interview with John at DJ's. I was telling my stepson that I'd met him and that I tasted their food and I was doing a review and he went nuts. He had just discovered TJ's and he said that their lobster roll was phenomenal. So, it's a Thursday night. I stopped at TJ's near my house up on Boyle and I ordered the lobster roll. Brought it home and I'm about to taste this lobster roll and I'm so excited about it because it is uh, a commitment here. Yum. Okay, uh, this is beautiful. Got my clarified butter is what this looks like. My lemon and chips and look at this lobster roll. Mm-hmm. Okay, it looks like, oh, there's still lobster meat in there. Look at this beautiful. Mm. Claw to go on it. I don't even know how to begin. And there's still lobster meat down in here. How do we begin here? I think I need a plate. Well, you know what? This is the great thing about these little lemon. Dip it in some butter. I highly recommend the lobster roll. You guys, this is one amazing sandwich and I don't know where else you could get something this delicious. I love this lobster roll, it's phenomenal. Go to TJ's, get this lobster roll today. It's amazing. Nice warm bits of thick, chunky lobster meat. Butter, wonderful bread. It is, uh, it's incredible. It's simple, but perfect. Never had a lobster sandwich before, but this is not going to be the last time I do. Love this lobster roll. Thanks for watching. See you back on Monday.